Hello folks, I'm Abfilder. Welcome to the third video in my series of Minecraft bite-sized tutorials. Today we're going to look at starting a brand new world for the very first time in Minecraft Java Edition. We'll be covering Bedrock Edition in the next video. So from the main screen then, select single player. You won't have anything here, so simply click on create new world. And from here we've got some tabs and some options. Let's take a look at the game tab first. Let's give our world a good name. Now you'll probably have lots of worlds, so give it something that will help you remember what this world was about. I'm going to call this tutorial world. Game modes we covered in video number two, so go check that out if you want to find out more about game modes. And you can just simply click on that and it switches around. Now in that video I didn't cover hardcore mode. That's because I was already in a world, but hardcore mode is the same as survival, except when you die, that's it, it's game over. You're probably not going to select that as your first game, so we'll go to survival. Difficulty, you can go from normal, hard, and then it'll switch around to peaceful, where no hostile mobs will spawn. Easy, where they will, but they won't do a lot of damage. Hunger won't kill you. In normal, they'll do a bit more damage to the hostile mobs. Hunger won't kill you, but it will still do some damage. And then hard where the mobs will hit you really hard and hunger can in fact kill you. Minecraft isn't that difficult, even on hard mode. Unless you're watching this video for a young child, I suggest that you put difficulty on hard mode and get used to it. Maybe if it's for a young child, you put it on easy and then ramp it up. And then allow commands in survival mode default is off. I would actually say turn this to on for most games. It allows you just to switch your game mode. For example, you can go in spectator mode if you want. If that feels a bit cheaty, then leave it off. It's your game. Do what you want there. Let's take a look at the world tab then. We have the world type. For your first game, you're going to want to leave this default, but there are super flat, large biomes, which is like big oceans, big deserts, that kind of thing. Amplified, those will make your mountains mount you. In fact, they'll be crazy. Just make sure you have that beefy computer. Single biome, I've done this before. You can do that as a kind of a challenge. So I played in a desert only world, for example, but leave it for default. Now, seeds are basically used for everything that's generated in Minecraft. So how your world looks, where the biomes are, where the structures are. There are trillions of seeds. If you've seen a nice one on Reddit or a YouTube video, for example, you know the seed, you can enter it here. But for the most part, just leave this random, generate structures. I've never ever had that turned off. Not sure quite why you would. Bonus chest, I've never had this on, but if you put bonus chest when you start, there'll be a chest with some basic items in. It's not that difficult to get those basic items. So personally, I would leave that off. So let's check out the more tab. And we've got data packs, which are a way of customizing your world, new structures, new recipes, that kind of thing. It's more of advanced topic, so we'll cover that later on in the series. Experiments, Mojang from time to time do experiments to see what player feedback is. Again, we'll leave that for now. Game rules, I am gonna quickly look at. There is one rule that I almost always change when I start a new world. So you can change these as you want, but I'm gonna go down to world updates and here, update fire and when you actually type the command it's do fire tick i always set to off so if for example you have built a wooden structure and it gets hit with lightning and that starts to set on fire with that turned on it will spread and destroy your entire structure it's super annoying and i find jungles burn down and things like that super annoying doesn't really add a lot to the game for me so i tend to turn that off it also means you can build with wood in the nether just click done and that is simply it all we need to do now is click create new world. This will go up to 100%. If you've got a beefy computer like me, it'll be nice and quick. And there you are. You are in your first Minecraft world. Good luck. I hope you found this bite-sized tutorial super useful. I just want to say a big thank you to my patrons. They help keep the Abercraft server completely free to play on. If you want to become a Patreon, link will be in the description below. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing to the channel. Maybe hit that alert button. But for now, folks, that's all I have time for. I'm Abfielder. Goodbye.